Hey everybody, it's Mike Vasquez. It is week 40 of 52. I have reached another 10 week milestone and uh, down to three months left. There's only 12 weeks to go, which is crazy uh, that I'm going to be at a full year of no uh, no drinks, no booze, which is uh, which is great. I'm super, super proud of that and uh, looking forward to meeting, meeting that milestone. <clears throat> you know, now it's starting to lean into uh, what do I do at that point? Do I give myself permission to, to go back to drinking? Do I, um, you know, stick with it and, you know, realize that maybe I should just keep it the way it is and not, uh, not even have the temptation? Or do I have a different relationship with it now? And it's only like a special occasion thing and <clears throat> being very conscious of if it starts to slip into um, that previous way of, of, uh, of being and how I, you know, had alcohol on the regular. And I'm very cautious just knowing myself and, and how addictive, you know, the disease is and um, <clears throat> being cautious to not fall into that trap. So I'm kind of just taking that as it goes and seeing, seeing you know, um, I guess we'll cross that bridge when I get there essentially. But, um, <clears throat> you know, life is going to present change to all of us. And I'm finding now, especially with the new job, um, been in Rhode Island for about a week now. And we've been, you know, burning the candle at both ends for a few days. Um, really, really busy, you know, long, long stretches of time. And obviously the uh, eating healthy, I don't have a kitchen to cook out of. And, you know, I'm trying food at these different restaurants and whatnot and navigating that and trying to make sure that I keep that fit lifestyle that I've been trying to work on, um, you know, the last, since the beginning of the year, essentially. So um, did hit the gym a couple of times, you know, while I was out since I don't have my personal trainer with me, um, you know, back in Nashville. And I, I do have two sessions scheduled as soon as I get back because I'll be in town for about a week. So, um, <clears throat> so it's changed, you know, it's figuring out I had a, a really good system down before I took this new job and was seeing a lot of progress. And now I'm having to adapt and change and figure out how do I still find those results that I wanted and that I do want and achieve those goals in this new setting and uh, an environment and it kind of leads into the quote from Charles Darwin this week which is it's not the strongest or the most intelligent who will survive but those who can best manage change and uh, you know that's very true it's you know all the different things that the world throws at you it's going to be a consistent that change will happen it's one of the the most certain things is change so that's my current focus now is making sure that uh, different stresses and and whatnot um that i keep on with what i've been doing and make sure that i continue to make progress uh, and stay focused so uh, so that's the focus for this week still feeling good um you know Definitely going to be more challenging being on the road all the time and, and keeping that uh, that diet. But I think having a consistency back in Nashville to keep working out and uh, figuring out how to how to do that on the road too, and uh, and making sure that I maintain the diet in a good way so that I can not lose the the progress that I've made to this point. So, so that's it for this week. Uh, focusing on change, managing change, and being adaptable and ready to change things from how I've been doing it to the way I'm going to do it to continue to reach that goal. So hope you have uh, some goals in mind this week and find a way to adapt to change. Thank you for listening. Love you all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.